So as many of you guys know, I've been traveling recently to all different places. Um, I started off in Sweden and uh, went through the Netherlands, and I'm actually in London as we speak in a hotel. So if I'm kind of quiet, it's because there's people in the room next by me. And if I wake them up, they might kick me out. Then I'll be on the streets and get shanked by what you guys call a chav. Uh, what the fuck is a chav? I have no idea. But recently, through my traveling experiences, I've actually been reading a ton of YouTube comments. And I know that sounds really weird, and a lot of people are going to be like, Leafy, you're traveling, what are you doing reading YouTube comments? But I can't even explain the amount of times where I'm sitting on a train for like 30 to 40 minutes, and I just whip out my phone and start reading a ton of YouTube comments. But a few days ago, I was at this nice little Irish bar, and I was reading some comments on my phone while I was sitting there, and while I was drunk, I came to this crazy realization, and I know this is gonna sound bleak as fuck, but literally almost all my fucking comments are extremely sexual. Like, it's almost quite impressive how fucking all of them are almost sexual. I'm not talking about just like 50%, I'm not talking about 70%, like 95% of the comments are extremely sexual. Even some of the comments that you don't think are sexual are be- are- you know, like ones like, yo, nice video, you made me laugh. And then you click the view more little thing at the bottom and he says, oh, so I want your reptilian dick in my fucking throat. But anyways, after coming to that realization and just sitting there reading a ton of sexual comments, I kept seeing the same comment, which was leafy. Do you have any fetishes, huh? Have any fucking fetishes now, are we? Do you have a fetish now? I always thought just, no, I, I don't, okay? Um, no, I don't. Okay, that's it. And now we get to the fucking embarrassing part of the story, which I don't even know why it would be embarrassing. I mean, everybody fucking does it, but whatever. So, uh... <laughs> Dude, this is so fucking bad. Okay, so... <laughs> Dude, I'm gonna regret this, but a few nights ago, okay... Let's keep this on the down low, okay? The Reptilian Brotherhood, don't don't spread this shit around. Let, let's keep it in the circle, but... <laughs> I'm low-key. I'm watching some porn, okay? And I, I shouldn't even be ashamed, okay? Everybody fucking watches porn. And you're a fucking liar if you said you didn't, okay? But I'm watching some porn, right? I understand. I've been in Europe for about... <laughs> <laughs> I've been in Europe for about like uh what about like a one and a half weeks, okay? And I'm watching some fucking porn <laughs> and and there's something missing in the porno, right? I don't I don't fucking know what it is. I'm just sitting there and watching it and there's something missing. I don't know what it is. Well I, I fucking do now, but <laughs> anyways I'm sitting there fucking watching this porn. I don't do <laughs> I'm just gonna get this over so I'm I'm fucking watching the porn right and I'm just like there's something missing and as I'm thinking that my hands like subconsciously go into fucking Pornhub's little search browser and types European girls <laughs> literally they look the exact same than the fucking one I was just watching but the difference was was the fucking accent dude and yes I know that everybody has an accent I said that on Twitter I was like a girl with an accent and everyone's like oh my god you have a fucking Fucking accent. It's like, yeah, I know I have an accent, okay? Obviously, I wasn't talking about an American accent. I'm from America, okay? But anyways, back to the story. But over the course of one and a half weeks, I, <laughs> I somehow developed a preference towards girls with European accents over people that I've lived with over the fucking last 19 years of my life. Well, like 19 and a half, but still, like, <laughs> oh my god. I don't even know if that would be considered a fetish in all honesty, it's literally just a preference. But at the same time, you could say any fetish is a fucking preference, you know? You could just say like, Oh yeah, I don't have a fetish, I just have a natural attraction and preference towards girls that are like ripped as hell and can like bench press over a million pounds and are like life-size chicken nuggets, like that's just what I like, man. Anyways guys, I think this is pretty much the end. I don't know if it's really a fetish or just like a small little thing, I have no idea. But I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this little story video type of deal. Um, I guess it's not really a story, but thank you guys so much for all the support recently. Um, I gotta make a quick shout out to you guys. Like, the support on this video has been crazy, and I had a fucking wake up call a few days ago. Um, 
I don't want to get too much into this because I know this is dragging on, but I was on Twitter and a big, big YouTuber contacted me and he told me how well my channel is doing and how much support the f my fucking fan base has been giving me and how crazy it is that my channel is growing at this speed. And this guy wasn't some small guy. He was a very fucking big YouTuber. So I just want to say a quick little thank you to all the people that have been supporting me, the fucking reptilian brotherhood, if you want to call it that, in these past few weeks. It's been crazy awesome but uh, I'm gonna stop this <laughs> I know it's dragging on but thank you guys so much for all the support and leave a like if you guys want more stories like this uh, maybe not exactly like this yeah the, I, you know no I take it back